Hey, fuck you. Okay? Fuck you. Um... Here we go. I took a break because I was so angry. Fuck! I'm not actually that angry. I'm more just like, bruh. Okay. This monologue isn't funny. It's not even funny. It's lame. It's not funny. Then again, humor is subjective. It's not funny because GLaDOS is talking over it to the point where like you can't even append, uh, pay attention to what Cave Johnson is saying. It's just annoying. Holy shit, that, did you see me do that first freaking try? I'm a girl boss, dude. Now the lights are off. Game's so good. Except for when it isn't, but most of the time it's really good. I can't believe it came out in like 2011 or whenever the frick it came out. I hate it when people say frick. It's so annoying. It's like, just say fuck already. Just say fuck, okay? It's not a big deal. Yeah, I said it. I said I said fuck. What are you gonna do? Freaking weep about it? I like this puzzle, it's, it's silly. Sorry, I'm just trying to focus on the puzzle. Oh my god. That was actually really good for me, actually. Oh. 
Oh, I get it. Okay. He says as if he hasn't played this game a freaking a billion times. I went through a pretty crazy um, portal hyperfixation because I'm autistic. Um, that isn't a joke, actually. I know that some people are like, oh my god, I'm so autistic. And that's like, frankly, like really ableist and like making a joke out of it. Um, because I, but I actually am like autistic and I've been diagnosed with it. Um, and you know what? Who cares? I am different. No, that sounds bad. But what I'm trying to say is like, I shouldn't have to like pretend to be um, neurotypical just because um, sometimes my autistic traits make people uncomfortable. Like obviously I shouldn't like throw like, like a tantrum in the supermarket, but I don't do that anymore. Maybe I did when I was like a little kid, but every little kid does that. But I have just as much potential as any other young boy or girl or anything in between. Also, when I said anything in between, that wasn't a joke either. Because, um, there's a, there's infinity genders, in my opinion. And there always have been. There isn't some sort of like, all oh, the gender people haven't just suddenly showed up. They've always existed, but we only now have the vocabulary to express it. It's just like how like gay people are popping up all of a sudden. It's like, yeah, because, yeah, more people are coming out as, like, gay or, like, trans or, like, non-binary or, like, bisexual or, like, pansexual or, or asexual and shit because, because of the internet, we have more access to these terms, and so, um, people are more easily able to figure out, um, that they're queer. So I think we're, um, um, I might stop filming for a second and do this next part off screen just so that I don't have to like actually no I'll do it but if it like stops recording I'll just be at the next level in the next episode so if it suddenly cuts out that's why I think this is a pretty great episode I went on that kind of rant at the end that might um give me like death threats or something by like or maybe like Ben Shapiro will feature it in a in one of his videos. Why does Ben he never he never talks to like actual experts. He only talks to like college students that call him short. And then he's like, "Come on, stand by my side." And then they're like and Ben Shapiro's like taller than them or like at least the same height. And it's like that doesn't mean anything. You didn't do anything there. It's like you're literally just like being mean and roasting people and somehow thinking that you're smarter because you're an asshole. But he never says anything of substance. He says things that could very easily be dismissed if you're, if you think about it for five seconds, you can very easily come up with a rebuttal to all of his little schemes. 
or his little rich, wheat, um, witty retorts. Oh, I can film for 10 minutes. I didn't know that. I thought it would cut out after 10 minutes. But yeah. Yeah, there's a gender renaissance going on and it's great. Love that. Slay.